At Lipper Components, we are dedicated to improving the mobile lifestyle. We understand problems sometimes arise, and this video will help you better understand your specific components and how to resolve your specific issues. Please thoroughly read your owner's manual first. If you need more information, you can also go to lci1.com and select the menu item named Customer Service. Today we're going to talk about another tip, how to manually adjust your electric brakes. Most units come with manually adjusted electric brakes, i.e. you need to adjust your brakes every 3,000 miles or three months. And what that means is that as the linings wear and the drums wear, more clearance will develop between the brake lining and the drum surface. As that occurs, performance tends to go down on your brake assemblies you may notice that by having to turn up your gain on your electric brake controller in the truck. So when that occurs, or like I said, every 3,000 miles or three months, you should manually adjust the brakes. It's not a difficult operation to do, it just takes a little time to do it. So where we'll start is we'll lift one axle or one wheel end off the ground. And to do that, we can either use a rollaway jack or a bottle jack, and we'll typically just lift one wheel off the ground at, the t at a time. That way the remaining wheels are carrying the load. So once I get it jacked up enough, I can spin the tire. Then we're ready to manually adjust the brakes. All we'll need at this point is possibly a creeper, unless you like to lay on your back underneath, and a brake spoon that will be used to manually adjust the brakes. On the brake assembly itself, you'll see here where my finger's pointed that there is a rubber plug, plastic plug, We'll go ahead and remove that. He's adjusting the brake assembly out until that tire and wheel stops spinning. He's actually pushing the star wheel up. So it's kind of like a, it's a teeter-totter at this point. As he's pushing the one end down, the other end's going up. So there it's locked up. Now from there we'll go the other way. One, two. And then we'll set that to five, five clicks and then we'll roll the tire and see how that feels. There we have, you can hear a light drag, but yet the tire rolls freely. That would be a, a proper brake adjustment. We'll use that five click number to set the remaining three tires and wheels. One other thing I'll note, which is very critical when reassembling the axles, tires, and wheels, and that's torquing the tires and wheels. Usually there'll be a sticker on the unit that says retorque um, and give you the proper torque setting. So it's a very good idea to have a clicker style torque wrench in your truck with the appropriate socket and extension bar to retorque wheels. Um, so in the retorquing of the tire and wheel, make sure you do a star pattern. You can typically find that in an owner's manual in the unit um, or from the, the uh, website of the manufacturer on the proper star pattern and torque value that you want to use to retorque your wheels. So always check your owner's manual for any important information that may be related specifically to your unit, your axle, your tires and wheels. If in doubt and have a question on any of the things you've seen here today, please call Lippert Components Customer Service. Thank you. If you need more information, you can also go to lci1.com and select the menu item named Customer Service. For additional troubleshooting information, contact Lippert Components Incorporated, Customer Service Division, 1701 Century Drive, Goshen, Indiana. 46528